YouTube, Tai Sika here and today we have another ROM review for the Galaxy Note GTN 7000. Today it's going to be the Warzone ROM version 4. Yes, I'm doing a review on this ROM again but in its latest version. Um, I did a review on it uh, for past uh, a past few weeks ago for those of you who have, who have been following my videos. I've done it on uh, when the ROM was on its version 2 and at that time the ROM was using the kernel was XX uh, sorry the kernel was uh, Crime of Hearts kernel the overclock kernel and uh, the base if I was not mistaken was XXLT6 so and the developer in this version the version 4 uh, the developer has done major major enormous changes to the ROM uh, especially in the size of the file this is the first of formula the first time I've seen a TouchWiz Jelly Bean ROM being less than 500 MB. Yes, usually the file will be about 800 to um, 900. However, this ROM, the file size is about 459 if I'm not mistaken. Less than 500, definitely less than 500. And also this time it's using the XXLT9 as a base. And it's also using uh, Fields Kernel, the latest one, XXLT9 Kernel which gives a awesome battery life. I have um, some uh, screenshots on the battery life I've been using for the past few days and uh, this ROM by far for me gave, has given the best battery life and the best performance um, compared to the battery life. What I mean by that is when the, usually if you have a good battery life ROM the performance will suffer however this ROM is a balance between those two and um, yeah let's start. So. The first topic that we're going to tackle today is performance and performance of this ROM is extremely smooth as you can see it's extremely smooth and also this ROM comes with a transparent bar, notification bar, when I pull it down it's all exactly the same as stock, however it is extremely smooth as you can see, scrolling to and also the RAM usage on this ROM is extremely little. As you can see it's 589 even though I have apps on, I have WhatsApp on and I have um, settings on. On the multitasking as you can see 529 MB used and uh, in touch with perspective it's extremely little, the RAM usage is extremely little. Also opening apps is extremely smooth as you can see, fast, snappy. Even opening the new YouTube app is extremely fast as you can see. Smooth transitioning from opening and closing. Um, try CPU-Z. Usually in CPU-Z when I scroll through these this, uh, home screens, I will tend to see lags. Even on John ROM version 9 uh, with its uh, Crime of Hearts kernel. However, with this one it doesn't lag a lot. Actually there's literally no lag. As you can see, even if I add, were to add a lot, it will still be extremely smooth no lags whatsoever so what about the battery life oh wait uh, before that I want to show you a couple of screenshots on this and this um, on a 22 benchmark I did it yesterday I got 10,860 for the Galaxy Note which is extremely good I've never gotten this cost before I have gotten about even 9,000 I've gotten on sweet ROM however this time I got uh, 10, 000, eight, sorry, uh, 1, 000, uh, sorry, 10,860 which is extremely good for our Galaxy Note usually it will go around 8,000 or 7,000 however with this ROM it went to 10,000 and when I ran that uh, benchmark I had a few uh, apps online I had WhatsApp and uh, Facebook, uh, Messenger online and uh, okay what about battery life okay let's go to if I were just go to gallery uh, sorry, excuse me. I have private things inside here. Um, so you guys can see, um, I've used, uh, I've not charged it since a day, 12 hours 40 and 45 minutes. I've, the screen usage is about 45%. I have CPU-Z uh, on uh, and uh, I've been also playing a few games on it. I have played uh, Asphalt 8, the latest game. And uh, don't forget to check out my next video because I'm going to do uh, a review on Asphalt 8. And also I played a bit of Dead Trigger and uh, more Most Wanted. And guys, this is the screen. 
this is the um, screen uh, time on details as you can see it's 3 hours and 51 minutes which which is to me is extremely good I've never gotten this kind of scores before in a very long time I've never gotten this scores before uh, this cause this uh, time 3 hours and 51 minutes that's with gaming on the note sorry on the most wanted and uh, yeah this ROM is uh, I could say that this is one of the best ROMs I've ever used so yeah that's the review for today and um, I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give a like comment and subscribe but before I want to end this video for those of you who just want to see the performance who just want to see the battery life and all the overview stuff the, the video for you guys has stopped now and but this from now onwards is going to be for those gaming people the people want to see which is the best room for the Galaxy Note to play gaming and let me tell you guys this is an awesome room to play gaming I'll play most wanted near all the apps and um, yeah um, I'll try to make this short gaming sessions on the end of the video all the videos um, and the gaming session will be about two to one minute so it won't really eat up most of your time um, this is like I think this is the first time I've tried doing this because uh, when I want to find or when I go to a uh, ROM reviews I look at a gaming session to actually uh, have a good gauge on how good the ROM does in its uh, uh, gaming wise and yeah so guys enjoy so guys I'm pretty sure you have heard about the Note 3 coming out uh, it's been uh, the specs has been released. If I'm not, uh, specs has been released. Uh, there's also a hands-on video on the Note 3. Uh, from what I've read, is using the Snapdragon 800 um, series. Uh, the Ma the Android Note 330 is going to be also the first ROM or the first sorry the first uh, phone to feature three gigs of RAM. And the design is awfully similar as the Note, uh, as the Note One. This Note, the screen is about 5.7. However, it doesn't seem bigger. Um, it seems like they just increase the bezels around there. They just increase the, the size of uh, around the bezels around. And it's also the phone will be 10 to 1080p. And yeah, also the Nexus Five. There has been specs which has been leaked. According to a few people, according to a few websites, the oh sorry guys, sorry about my bad driving. According to some people, the Nexus 5 will have um, 1.9 gigahertz quad core. Uh, one of the Snapdragon series, either the 800 or 600 series, it's gonna have a uh, not mistaken a 2 gig RAM. They're also gonna have the latest Android Note 330, which is said to be uh, better or 30% uh, better than its uh, previous. Brother, which is uh, Andreno 320 and also the new Nexus 10 is coming out probably in November no leaks on the specs yet from what I've searched but we'll be expecting leaks soon so guys you can see the gaming on this on this one is extremely good just giving you a close-up and just to see that my car has gotten many damages but even that, you can see that there is no lag whatsoever. As you can see the small cutscene produces little to no lag. And as you can see the car driving off, really minimal lag. And yeah, so guys that should be the end of the video. Uh, to the video. And hope you guys enjoyed it. As you can see the whole video about was uh, 9 minutes from, from now. It was 9 minutes and 15 seconds. So you guys can see it's 61%, sorry 60%. Uh, three percent drop in about nine minutes which to me is extremely good so guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you want me to uh, change anything please comment don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, I also I'm planning to do a blog so if any of you want to see the blog comment subscribe and like so yeah peace out